Hello, I'm Julie and I want to help you with your sit to stand exercise. If you've been trying to do the 30 second sit to stand challenge and have found it a little bit difficult or your score isn't as high as you'd like it to be, then I want to show you three exercises that you can do to improve your leg strength and it will make that exercise a lot easier and improve your scores. So you need your chair, a sturdy chair, against the wall so it won't move and slide and that will give you the confidence to be able to get up and down safely. I want to show you this one from the side first of all. We're going to try from the back of the chair to just lift one leg out in front to the level of the chair and no higher and just hold your leg for up to 10 seconds. Your feet, your thigh muscles really working here. Lower the leg down slowly and repeat on the other side. So if you can bring the toes up a little way as well, you'll feel that. Work the thigh muscles into the knee and that's going to make your legs stronger as we come back down. As long as you do this frequently and we can do it even when you're watching television. So try to do 10 on each leg and see if you can hold for up to 10 seconds. So you can sit in the back of the chair, raise the leg, hold for 10 seconds, sitting tall and then gradually let that foot come back down to the floor and repeat on the other side. Lift and hold. If you can't manage 10 seconds at first, just do what you can as you get stronger, you'll be able to increase that. Now I'm going to show you another exercise that's really good for your thighs. You're not even getting out of the chair on this one. Sit forward on the chair so that you can draw the heels back as if you were going to do your sit to stand. Knees are over toes, sitting tall, tighten up through your core muscles. Now all you're going to do is push your heels into the floor and relax. Push the heels down. One, two, three, relax. You'll feel as you're doing that, that you're tensing these leg muscles and it really is the start of the sit to stand. See if you can do 10 of those. Push down, hold for three seconds, breathe normally and relax. And then when you are going to get ready to do your sit to stand, that's the action you need to do before you start to lift up from the chair. Now I'm going to show you a different version of the sit to stand exercise. It's a slow one rather than up and down several times in 30 seconds. You might find it easier at first to use a cushion underneath your bottom. That's going to lift your hips up higher than your knees and make it a bit easier to get out the chair. Make sure that it's not shiny material and it's nice and safe. We're going to sit in the front half of the chair as we did before or towards the front, heels brought back and then pushing into the heels, drive to stand up and then pump your heels straight away. So we push up, pump the heels and then just touch the back of the chair with your legs before sinking your bottom towards the back of the chair, lowering down nice and slowly and smoothly. You need to come forward on the chair again before repeating. Let me move the cushion now and face you. So we're going to sit forward on the chair, pull the heels back, push down into those heels as you swing your shoulders forward and drive up, pump your heels and then touch the chair with the back of your legs. Keep the knees apart, try not to let them come in as you sink down towards the chair very slowly and gracefully and then hip walk forwards again until you can repeat. Heels back, push down, swing up, pump your heels, touch the chair and slowly sit back down. And if you can do that, take your own time, see how you get on <clears throat> and as you get stronger, you'll really see the improvement.